Okay, so congratulations, you have reached the end of this video course. You've learned how to rebrand your video course with private label rights. And now you can do something that most people don't do. And I applaud you for that. All right. You have done what most people will not do. And if you take it a further step and you add some value, like a checklist, a workbook, and maybe even a video to make sure that you brand yourself and you do all that, you're, you're going to move forward. All right. Obviously I can't guarantee you success, but you have made it further than most people. And I applaud you for that. All right. So in this particular video, this is kind of a bonus video, which is video number nine. And we're going to talk about bulk rendering. So like I said, while this is not part of the actual video course, it's a bonus video to show you how to speed this up. Within Camtasia, one of the most awesome features, besides the fact that you can do screencasting and all of that, it, that I've used over the years and that I have not found in really any other software, is to uh, the ability to render multiple projects at one time. And I'm going to show you how to do this. We've shown this to many other video creators and video editors in the past, and and they've been wowed and they've said, wow, this is the, the number one golden nugget that I wish I had known years ago. And, and the same with me. I wish I had access to this decades ago because literally back in the day we were recording like 50 to 100 of videos and then rendering them as MP3, 1280 by 720, like 640 by 360 and all these files and formats. And, you know, if you got 20 videos times four, that's literally all those videos that you have to press a key over and over again. So let's say, for example, that you've added the logo staying to the beginning and the end, and you have about eight videos. Get ready to be excited, just as uh, many video editors are. And let me show you the feature in action. It's very easy to use. You just need to make sure that you have different projects for every single video. So if you, like I said, if you have 10 videos, you'll need to have 10 different Camtasia project files. All right. As you can see here, there are three different Camtasia project files. So as I noted in the previous video, I would create videos one, two, and three. So make sure that these are separate. Once you have these in hand, now it's time to do bulk rendering. It's super easy to do. All you have to do is go up to tools and then you go to sharing and then you go to batch production. So you can either click add files and projects here and then you can select the, the files. You can select multiple at a time, click open. And of course you can add more as well. Now here's a little trick. I'm going to remove these selected here and that's actually the slow way. Here's the fast way. So let's say, for example, that I want to render an MP3, a 1280 by 720 HD quality file and a 640 by 360 flash file for every single one of these three. So that's about nine different rendered files. So all I have to do is drag these here, drag it over and drag it over. All right, so the reason why I did that was because I want three different formats for each one of these files. So to show it to you again, to kind of maybe simplify things, if I just want three here, I could do one, two, three. So then I can have MP3, HD, and then the flash. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to speed it up again. So one, two, three. If you have a fourth one, then you can move it over again. Next thing you do is click next. And these are presets. So obviously these are settings that I have set already. So in order to make new settings, you click on preset manager. And then of course you can edit and then of, of course change things around. As far as what settings you should use, Honestly, I can show it to you here. We'll click cancel out. 
if you click produce and share actually there's there's nothing in there so let me choose something here we'll choose this one here we'll click produce and share and you can click custom production settings click next and you can say okay this will be an mp4 and what that means is you're going to produce an mp4 file so if we were to produce an mp3 file we would select that but the majority of time you're going to do mp4 or mp3 but mp3 is only the sound itself it's not the video so most of the time it's this one here you can also do gifs now what this means is produced with controller is the actual video player the HTML player that comes with the video. So either you want to render just the video alone, or you want to render the video connected to a player, like an HTML player so that you can upload it to your website and it'll automatically play. So you could do that. The size, what I would suggest that you do is use a similar size as what you have export. So 12, 1280 by 720, you have 1280 by 720 here. All right. Video settings, frame rate, I put automatic. You can do 30 seconds frame rate, but I usually just do automatic and I do bit rate high quality. Now keep in mind, if you do this, especially for bigger files, like a 1280 by 720 video, the, the file is going to be a lot bigger. So your video might end up being a hundred megabytes or even several hundred megabytes. But I typically like to have the higher quality as the better. And then audio settings, I usually do encode audio and I select 128. You can also select a higher one as well. And that's it. So really it comes down to what you want. All right, so if you want to produce it without the controller, you unselect this, all right? All right, so let me go back over here. We're going to do the batch rendering. I'm going to do it really quick. But I just want to mention that so that you understand what's happening. I don't want to assume that you know what I'm doing, all right? So we're going to click use a different production preset for each file. And the reason why I want to do that is because we have all these files here. So we have three, one, two. So that's one, two, three, three, one, two, which is one, two, three, and three, one, two. So the top three are going to be one thing. So I'm going to do 640 by 360. And then the next three will be 1280 by 720. And of course, the next ones I'm going to do MP3. Like that. Click next, you choose the output folder. And then of course, I usually select organize, produce files in subfolders. And what that means is as it's rendering, it will create an individual folder for those files, which is nice to have, especially if you want to zip that folder up and send it away. All right. So that's how easy it is. You just click finish and it'll, it'll begin the rendering process. Now keep in mind, depending on your computer, one video could literally take anywhere from half an hour to sometimes an hour. If your computer is really, really fast, even my computer here, the videos will take about half an hour each just to render or even 15 minutes. It really depends on how complex the video is. If the video is just maybe a few slides and that's it, and not a whole lot of motion, your video size is going to be lower. But if you have a lot of call, call outs and a lot of fancy motions and all that, your video file is going to be at a larger file size. So I hope you enjoyed this video course on how to rebrand your video course. So that's it. Have a good day.